today, we are delving into a topic that is sure to pique your interest, the ambitious project by China to construct the largest space station known to man, which may eventually resemble a small city in size. Yes, you heard that right, China's goals aren't limited to becoming a dominant force in space exploration, but also encompass the building of an enormous space station that will serve as a hub for scientific research, telescopes, and even space tourists. In this video, we will provide you with all the details of this project, so grab your favorite drink and let's start the journey. What is the Tiangong Space Station? Tiangong, translating to Heavenly Palace in English, is the name of China's upcoming permanent space station. While this is not China's first foray into developing a space station, it is undoubtedly their most progressive and far-reaching endeavor. China's previous contributions to space station development include the temporary trial space stations Tiangong-1 and Tiangong-2. These stations facilitated several manned missions between 2011 and 2016. However, they were relatively small and offered limited functionality. Unlike its predecessors, the new Tiangong Space Station will be significantly larger and equipped with advanced features. It will be composed of three primary modules, Tiana, Wenian, and Mengtian. Tiana, translating to Harmony of the Heavens, is the central module housing the crew's living quarters and the station's control and communication systems. It was launched in April 2021. It currently orbits Earth at approximately 380 kilometers altitude. Wenian, meaning quest for the heavens, is a research lab module dedicated to conducting biological and life science experiments. It was launched and docked with Tiana in July 2022. Mengtian, or Dreaming of the Heavens, is another research lab module specializing in physical and material science experiments. It was launched in October 2022. China's aspirations transcend the current design. Plans are underway to augment Tiangong by adding more modules, potentially making it the largest space station in history. And it may eventually reach the size of a small village or town, comprising numerous modules and accommodating hundreds of space explorers who reside and carry out their tasks there. Whilst these propositions have not been formally acknowledged by China, there's evidence of their eagerness to advance innovative module designs including expandable living spaces, solar energy facilities, space hotels, and extraterrestrial manufacturing units. Why does China want to build such a huge space station? Numerous factors influence China's significant investment in its future space station. One primary incentive is to showcase its technological advancements and establish its role as an ascending space power. With its history of being the third nation to independently launch humans into orbit, China has built a reputation in the space race. Their eyes are now set on more ambitious objectives, including manned missions to the Moon and Mars. The space station, known as Tiangong, will function as a platform for the development and trial of new technologies and capabilities that are crucial for sustained human habitation in deep space. Key capabilities and technologies that Tiangong aims to demonstrate include 1. Operational management and maintenance of a large, complex space station. 2. Orbital launch and docking of multiple spacecraft. 3. Execution of long-term and complex spacewalks. 4. Onboard recycling of water and oxygen. Mastering these technologies and skills will enhance China's ability to construct more sophisticated and dependable spacecraft and habitats for its lunar and Martian expeditions. China has already publicized its intention to send its first astronauts to the moon by 2030 and establish a permanent base there by 2035. Probes and rovers to Mars and Jupiter are also in the pipeline. Another critical factor is the promotion of international cooperation and exchange. China has extended an invitation to other nations to contribute to the construction and operation of Tiangong, fostering opportunities for joint missions, experiments, and training. China also welcomes astronauts from other countries to join Tiangong as guests or crew members. By sharing its space station with the international community, China hopes to cultivate mutual trust and understanding among different cultures and civilizations. 
It also aims to inspire more global citizens to pursue their dreams and aspirations by showcasing its achievements in space. Another motivation is the opportunity to conduct scientific research and experiments that could potentially benefit mankind. Tian Gong is expected to conduct hundreds of experiments in diverse fields, such as material science, astronomy, medicine, biology, earth observation, and more. Some of these experiments can only be conducted in the unique microgravity environment of space, providing insights that are unattainable or challenging to achieve on Earth. Experiments to be conducted on Tian Gong include 1. Exploring the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. 2. Observing the Earth's environment and climate change from orbit. 3. Innovating new methods for cultivating cells and growing plants in space. 4. Investigating the impact of microgravity and radiation on human health and behavior. 5. Testing new materials and devices for space applications. What are the challenges of Tian Gong? The construction and operation of a space station are complex undertakings, requiring substantial resources, coordination, expertise, and risk management. Tian Gong must overcome several challenges and uncertainties to ensure its success and safety. One significant hurdle is the reliability of China's launch vehicles. China's space station modules and spacecraft are launched using its Long March rockets. However, these rockets have had several failures and anomalies in the past, which could threaten the launch schedule and mission objectives of Tian Gong. In May 2021, a Long March 5B rocket that launched the Tiana core module failed to perform a controlled re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, sparking global concern about the potential landing site of its debris. While most of the debris burned up during re-entry and the remaining pieces fell into the Indian Ocean without causing any harm, this incident raised questions about China's capabilities to ensure the safety of its space activities. Another challenge is maintaining the operations of Tian Gong. Although Tian Gong is designed to be operational for at least a decade, it will require routine resupply and maintenance missions to remain functional and habitable. China plans to launch cargo ships regularly to deliver essential supplies, equipment, and experiments to Tian Gong. Yearly crewed capsules are also planned to rotate astronauts on board. The success of Tian Gong missions is contingent upon the readiness of various components, including launch vehicles, launch pads, ground-based stations, tracking systems, communication networks, and more. Any glitches or delays in these systems can compromise the performance and operations of Tian Gong. In conclusion, Tian Gong represents more than a mere space station, it serves as a testament to China's escalating prowess and influence in the realm of space. It embodies China's goal of emerging as a dominant player in space exploration that can significantly impact humanity's future in outer space. China's ambitious project of constructing the world's largest space station is a daring and commendable effort that mirrors the country's aspiration and ambition in space. It also carries substantial implications for the future of humanity in space. Tell us in the comments what do you think of this China project? Do not forget to subscribe to the channel publish it and press the like button, as this helps us a lot in moving forward on the channel. Thank you for joining us on this journey.